it's Saturday. I don't like Saturdays, they're busy. Uh, Lily has gone off to her drama school this morning. Phoebe would normally go in the afternoon, but she's isolating, so she will not be going, and she's not going to a swimming lesson either. Oh, I didn't email them. I should probably do that. It's a very sunny day, which is good, because we're gonna we're hoping to clear a space and get ready for building the new bigger chicken run. And I'm gonna take down the birthday decorations, and I've got a ton of cleaning and organising and sorting and hoovering and general stuff to do ahead of putting up our Christmas decorations tomorrow. And it's strictly tonight, that's quite good. And I think we're gonna have veggie burgers for dinner. Saturday. I am cleaning the cooker top. And whilst I'm doing that, I thought I would mention a couple of things. First of all, other vlogmases. Every day I say to myself, right, I'm gonna sit down today and I'm gonna watch my own focus. So I'm going to sit down today and watch some vlog misses and it never happens and in fact today as I'm cleaning the kitchen I was going to watch a few videos but now I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to mention a few I'm aware of, there are plenty more that I'm not aware of or I am aware of but I haven't written them down. So I didn't realise that Gaina from Tales from Cuckoo Land and Cherie from Ollie and Bella are both doing vlogmas, Paula from Stitch by Mrs D my friend Becky, who is back to Blighty, I think I've already mentioned. I've already mentioned Lily of Norway and Suzanne at Green Lumpkin Yarns. Uh, Kalisha at the Quirky Monday podcast is doing her uh, quirky little vlogmas. She's Grinch obsessed and she's running a, a make along at the moment for Grinch themed things or green things. So that's really good. Uh, Bex Creates uh, on YouTube is doing her first ever Vlogmas. Uh, Bex Creates is um, a knitting uh, designer. She has designed some lovely socks which she has donated as prizes for the Strictly Sock Along on my other channel. And Stitch, sorry, sti Sock Witchery. Why have I written Stitch Witchery? Are you Stitch Witchery on YouTube maybe or have I just like had a moment of confusion. I'll put the correct name for your channel, Lindsay, on the screen. Uh, Lindsay is doing Vlogmas as well. Pins and Needles, Zoe in Barry in Wales. Uh, and now I've got to the point now where I haven't written them down. So I'm just trying to think if I spotted any yesterday when I was trawling through. Oh, Bakery Bears, they're doing theirs on their Patreon. They do their advent calendar every year. Tell you what, if there's anyone else, what I'll do is I'll do a pinned comment underneath and I'll just make a list in the pinned comment. And if anyone else recommends some, I'll update the pinned comment with people that you've recommended. Um, oh, no, no, because I'll forget to do that. I'll do a pinned comment and if you know any more, you reply to the pinned comment. That's how we'll do it uh, with people that you're watching. So let us know who you're watching and their, their YouTube channel name and why you love them and where in the world they are because it's really nice to watch people in other parts of the world, isn't it? Cleaning their cookers on a Saturday morning. The glam. of my ongoing mission to clear the clutter from around the house in time for Christmas decorating I've had this little dish sitting on the side with things to be mended and untangled so I've got this um, necklace that I think I made or my friend made for me and I never wear it so um, I've untangled this it's really pretty actually a little swallow and a little plastic bead so I'm just going to see if Lilia wants it because that's kind of up her street. She likes that kind of thing. This is um, a pendant that, that's Phoebe's and the chain has broken. It opens up. It's like a little locket. None of, these are all just costume jewellery and this is a time turner. Uh, Lilia is of the age where Harry Potter was a thing she read 
um, when she was younger. Phoebe has never got into Harry Potter at all, rather like me. I'm not a Harry Potter person. Uh, but this is a time turner, which is a thing from Harry Potter. And again, that has broken. So I need to re-link that up, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. And then I've got some silver necklaces here, which are, were mine. And I don't know if they're broken or not, because the first thing I need to do is completely untangle them. They're in a real mess. And there is a charm on there that is definitely broken. So I'm gonna stick on a Vlogmas. I think I'm gonna watch Becky at Back to Blighty and try and untangle these. I absolutely love untangling stuff. We've got, um, in the, the exhibition that we had at work before the current one, we had this thing in, uh, like this installation which involved tiny little figures hanging from tiny bits, like really thin, long bits of thread. And they got all tangled up and my boss said, look, I'm sorry to ask you, but would you, I've had a go and I can't do it. Do you think you could try and untangle the things in the exhibition space? And I was just like, oh, best job ever. <laughs> so satisfying. I love weaving in ends when I'm doing my knitting and crochet as well. Well, it's some time later and this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but it turns out that this is three silver necklaces that were all tangled up and they are all silver and they are all intact. There's still a few little knots in each one that I need to work out, but I've got them all separate. This one here that needs mending is not silver, so I'm gonna throw that one away because there's no point trying to mend that. It's gonna take me forever. I'm gonna clean these silver ones up and I'm gonna give Phoebe one of the silver necklaces for her pendant. I think that'll be a lot nicer. And it will give me and the girls an extra necklace or two for putting pendants on. Unfortunately, the little dragonfly silver charm is beyond repair. God, dry my hands off. I need to put some moisturizer on. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That can go back in the little pottery thing that Dan made when we went on a pottery day earlier in the year. Brilliant. Well, I think I've earned some lunch now. These are the first socks I ever knitted. <laughs> Phoebe's grinning at me because the first two times I did this, I said the first socks I ever knit and she's correcting me. So these are the first socks that I ever knitted and I'm going to wear them to keep my tootsies warm in my wellies because I'm about to go and sort out the woodshed to make space at the bottom of the garden so we can start to build the new run for the chickens. Toes moving. <laughs> Stop it. I've also got my... Tunisian crochet cowl on. I love this so much. It's just going to stop the tops of my coat from rubbing at my chin. I can't remember the pattern, but I'll put a link to it underneath if I remember. It's cobbled streets something. Oh, I can't remember. Tunisian crochet is lovely. The yarn is called Seagull and it is by Biff Sugar Yarns. It's so soft and beautiful. <laughs> oh, I did like a spider corpse go. Nice look there, Dan. Sweet. Or my socks. So we are moving the boxes to the garden now because we're going to commence the um, sorting out of this. But I'm going to show the building of it in, in its own vlog um, in a couple of days time. I think we're going to start putting it together today and hopefully finish tomorrow and I'll have put it all together in one coherent video. Exciting to get these boxes <coughs> and everything out of the hallway though. I'm tripping over them for days. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at my hair sticking up. Oh my goodness, that didn't help, did it? I'm so cold. It's about 10 past three. We've been out there for hours. I can't feel my hands anymore. I'm gonna go and light a fire. I'm gonna try and warm my toes and my hands up and then I'm gonna run the hoover around. Maybe I should run the hoover around in order to warm up. 
can't wait to share with you the uh, the new run. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so glad that our girls are going to have a bigger space and I'm going to be able to hang like hanging pots on it and things with flowers. It's going to be lovely. So, hi, Danny. <laughs> Lily has just walked in. Hello. Say hello to the world. Hello, world. <laughs> Oh, look, we look like we've got a cat. We haven't seen next door's cat in quite a while. She and, wanted to come. But she, oh, sorry about the wobbling there. That was Phoebe. Um, but she turned up this morning and not only did she meow for about what felt like seven hours, but she started to bang on the window. So we've let her in. She goes. She drives me mad, but we don't want her in because Lilia's so allergic to her. So we're going to pop you out in a minute, aren't we? She came down and you laid by the fire. It was so cute. We are <laughs> big film. <laughs> my leg. You're going home. You You've got to go home camera. for your embarrassing. dinner. We need to do song of the day. And somebody in the comments yesterday uh -huh. said that a good band for Christmas songs was the Pentatonics. Oh, yes. They do oh, lots of... Um, and Dan... Stuff. He's a big fan of pentatonics, so I thought maybe you might know a Christmas one. Oh, blimey, not off the top of my head. A bit of preparation would have been nice. But, Sorry, do, uh, you, do you want me to pause the video and you can have a look yeah. at it? So pentatonics are a band that don't have any instruments. They make all the music with their voices. Acapella, Mum, acapella. Quite some time has now passed. Still have a cat, though. Yeah, she's not gone anywhere. Um, and I think we we, have, we listened to a little snippet of every single song on the best of Pentatonics Christmas yes, album. Yes, he chose the only one that isn't actually a Christmas it song. Is a yes, Christmas it is a Christmas song. song. It's a mashup, if I might be so bold as to call it that. Mia, yeah, where are you going? <laughs> of Winter Wonderland and Don't Worry, Be, be Happy, Happy by the yes. Pentatonics. And if you want to go and listen to the whole it's album... It's not the Pentatonics, it's by Pentatonics. Oh, it's not the Pentatonics. No, it's not... not. <laughs> Not like the Covid. No, it's not. <laughs> or the YouTubes. <laughs> I don't know what that cat is doing. So yeah, that's it. And it's called, okay, so the best of Pentatonics Christmas. Christmas. Yes. And it's a really good album. And the first one is Deck the Halls. That was really good. And the other one we really liked was Here Comes Santa Claus. Yes, here that was quite Santa Claus, good. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. It reminds us of Nativity. Right, I'm gonna go and open my Advents. Okay. You don't have an Advent. No, I don't. Reminds me. to this haven't you oh it's a little bird it's a little bird holding mistletoe in its beak it's adorable it is so are you oh i think you're <laughs> 